So today we will be working with a kinky straight wig. Yes, this is the actual kinky straight wig Ashley is about to apply to her Nana. So this actually is too big for her, but we're going to show you how to make it fit. We want to place it on here exactly the way that it will be worn. This is what it looked like before. So it had elastic bands in it and we're gonna remove all of that. See how big it is? It's actually too big for her. It comes over the ear, it's extremely too big. So we parted it off. And we actually can see where the cap ends or where her head ends, and we're gonna cut that off. She's gonna tweeze it out. Or, we can do it faster with Nair. We're actually gonna take the Nair and apply it directly to the hair where we parted it, because we want all of that hair to fall out. Allow the nair to sit for 10 minutes, rinse it completely out. Then you're gonna use your zigzag shears to cut away the lace. So now the wig will fit. You're gonna remove all the adjustable bands. There will be nothing there, so now it will be a full lace wig. We're gonna use the bow hole glue and we're gonna actually apply it to the lace in the back only for an additional hole. Make sure that you use thin layers. We're gonna dry it with a blow dryer. If it doesn't dry fast or if it doesn't dry clear, you use too much. It should appear very clear once it's dry. Now we're ready to apply. First, we wanna clean with 91% alcohol. Do not rub hard because you can break the skin and cause irritation. Next, use your bowl hole skin protect. Now we're ready to apply our bowl hole lace glue. Making sure you're always using thin layers for the best hold. The glue will dry fast. Once you put your first layer of glue on, we're going to go in with the tape on top for an additional hold. Make sure you're cutting the tape properly, leaving the line in the middle so that you can remove the tape easily. you should be able to remove the tape from the center fold. Then we're gonna go back on top of the tape with more layers. You can go up to seven layers, but they must be very thin. Now we're gonna start by applying the lace wig to the back. Now we will apply it to the front, from left to right or from the middle, whichever way is easier for you. Now 
once you get it on you want to press the lace into the glue this will give you a extremely great melt 